snug in this anchorage, but I'm going to move because the party's down there. I'd heard of Smokehouse Bay from other cruisers and heard that it was a cruiser's paradise. Well, I was there to find out for myself. It's a hard plan, right? And weather plan. But it never stops. It never stops. I, I can't stay. Some friends of mine were already there cooking pizzas. They invited me around to partake, of which I did. Love to have a piece of this one. As well as good to see my friends, made some new friends, ate lots of pizza, then saw these guys using these to smoke fish that they'd caught. It was actually an organized trip and they were cooking some big stuff on this barbecue. I mean, this was serious barbecue time. It's a steak. I thought it was a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What's that, all the frames and all the bits and pieces? No, no frames, mate. This is this full fish, it's a snapper. Oh, right, and then we've you. got the wings, there's a whole snapper, there's a whole kawa, oh. and, and a kingfish head. Oh, I heard about you guys catching this kingfish. Yeah. Oh, did they tell you, did they? Yeah, it's probably down there. It's oh, your, history. Case, your history, mate. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, brilliant. I've just come up from below to check on things up on deck. It's in the evening, not too late. You can still see a bit of uh, light out here. But what is amazing, it's absolutely silent. Wow. The weekend here was busy with about 14, 15 boats. A lot of them coming over from Auckland. They've all gone now and it's so 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 still here uh, new zealand i found so far well the part i've been living in is very very noisy a lot of helicopters in fungari a lot of things going on here there's absolutely nothing complete and utter stillness silence it's almost religious it's it's peaceful love it windy day but we're gonna go ashore washing done. Wash myself, wash the uh, clothes. It was nice to go back ashore. I had uh, things to do like my laundry uh, and take a shower. It was also nice to take a look at the property without other people there. It backed up onto a hill. It had its own toilet and it had water, which of course came down and fed the little camp down here. And you can see just how it was laid out. It was everything was there for you, seating, the fire pit, and of course, <laughs> the pizza oven. I just could not get over this pizza oven. Pretty much all of New Zealand, you're not allowed to set up camp and have barbecues on beaches and that sort of thing. Uh, that's the way cruisers work. They congregate at the end of the day, have a few beers on a beach or someplace like that, and are generally all good. Uh, we're all sort of very green and like to clean up after ourselves. Uh, but you're not allowed to do that in New Zealand. Uh, it's, it's, it's not allowed.
Uh, but here it's different. This land was bequeathed to the cruisers of the area by a guy called Webster, I believe, who owned it, uh, or owns it, his family own it now. And they built all these facilities, including, the, there is a, a pizza oven here. Over here, there's washing facilities for clothes. Old fashioned clothes mangle. There's everything you need here to do laundry, including fresh water. And look, I just noticed these. These are for the pizza oven, all made out of stainless steel. Um, then you come up to this area and we have a communal place for sitting down, a fire pit kind of thing going on. And then around here, uh, you may have seen the, the other night when it was in action, this, these are smoke smoke uh, ovens or smoke cupboards or whatever you want to call them this is actually called smokehouse bay um, and then further on here we have uh, a huge barbecue area you just help yourself as long as you clean up afterwards you're welcome but the piece de resistance is over here uh, this is the bathhouse um, and you can come here and, and do something that most cruisers can never get to do on a regular basis when you're on a boat like mine at least is have a hot shower it's all done by a fireplace down here uh, there's wood everywhere they even supply you with saws uh, to cut the stuff off with i mean that's just brilliant it's just awesome it's still a little bit warm from last night you got a library in here. Pictures of the old place. And a shower. Those are the controls up there. One's hot, one's cold. You've got to light the fire outside and then uh, that'll warm that up. And while you're having your shower, that's your view. As time goes by, people come in here and people leave things behind them. Uh, tools and what have you. I mean, there's some spanners down here. Um, it's great. I mean, it is just, it's like a little hippie commune, except right uh, today there's nobody here. Uh, there probably will be at some point. Uh, so I come ashore and do this now while there is, while there's nobody here. But I just, I just adore this kind of thing. I would love to own a place. I could live in there. I could live in that. Anyway, I'm going to get that fire going, have myself a warm shower and do my laundry. I took the liberty of making some copies of the photographs I found in a bathhouse. Shows these guys, and the date on the back was the early 60s, so there's some history here. You can tell that by the style of boat. It's been a while since I made a fire. I've emptied out all the ash from the other night. Putting some kindling in here. I bought my own cardboard. You're not supposed to burn cardboard in here, but it will burn away to nothing. At least I'll get it started. I'm going to bring a lighter. Used to be a smoker, not anymore. So I always used to have these things with me, but uh, now if I need one, I have to remember to bring it. When it gets going, it gets going, man. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Lots of dried bark just lying around on the floor here. That's gonna get hot pretty damn quick. That just suddenly took off. It's a while since I've done anything like this. So uh, that's burning away merrily in there. They even have an outdoor bath. Although I'm not sure I'd really want to get in that. The idea I think is there's a, there's a fire pit underneath and you like that. Let's just see if it works still. Uh, jungle bath. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> That's brilliant. Wow, that's getting hot. Leave it for a little bit longer. I'm ready for my hot shower. I'll take the one inside her, not that one. Okay, that's my laundry done. Uh, just one thing left to do. Saw some kids playing with this the other day. I thought I've got to have a go at this. 
it's an old fender or something and it's uh, been hollowed out there's some people coming so I've got to make this quick <laughs> oh yeah this is how you become seasick without going to sea yeah all right I'll go. <laughs> Had a nice musical evening ashore last night, but today is a different day. Sometimes I get a, a little panicky feeling going on, and I've got that now. Um, we've got a bit of a blow. There's actually a cyclone coming past. It's going to miss us, um, and it's not bad or anything, but it's going to be windy. So we're uh, going to go to the other side. Uh, my arse end is facing... Uh, I'm on a lee shore here. My arse is facing uh, onto the, the, the beach there and it's going to blow up. It could, it could get up to 13 knots, I doubt it, but um, best be safe. So going to go to the other side of uh, what is this huge lagoon inside the island um, over there. And uh, there's a big sort of big wall area. I'm going to go hide behind this wall. Uh, some other people I met uh, last night and I was playing guitar with. A uh, lovely lady and her husband, they're going over there in their boat now. So uh, I've got that panicky feeling inside. I suddenly, do, you can feel it, it's all going grey up there. You think, Barry, Barry, move the boat now. Right, so I've done all my engine checks. I've stowed stuff. It's just a quick trip across there. I'm just warming up the um, chart plotter because I need to know uh, what the depths are. I've got a lot of chain out. It's going to take me ages to pull that stuff in. So I best get to it. Uh, by Smokehouse Bay. You coming, Squeaky? First time I've ever towed Squeaky. I think she's alright back there. Right, onward. Ah, that's where I was. I'm going over here somewhere, probably about there. Wind's picking up now. And there's a big old rain cloud over there. I think I picked the right time to leave. Ah, uh, peace and tranquility. I think I should be set. Um, it's nice down here. I'm not exactly in the right position. Where I am here, um, uh, the wind is supposed to be coming from that direction pretty much. So I'm behind that hill and I'm in this little place here. It's really deep, really, really deep. We're in 17 and a half meters right here. Um, and it's still quite deep, right all, all the way up to the, the uh, coastline there. It is low tide at the moment. So we're a little bit constricted, but we've got um, open sea, well, open bay. The sea is actually just over the side of the, uh, the other side of those hillocks over there. And then, uh, don't normally do this with the camera. It's bad filming, but it gives you an idea. And there's a little island over there. I can't remember where my anchor is now. Um, where is it? Oh, okay, so I like to know, so when people anchor on top of it, I can shout at them. It's all up, straight up and down at the moment. I, I, I put it in over there somewhere. Yeah, she's swinging about. Hmm. Meanwhile, this guy's sneaking in here. If he sneaks behind me, I'm happy. I'm actually in the middle of my own little bay here. This is Barry Bay on Barry Island. I'm terrible. He has a right to come in here as well, but I'm like, this is my bay. <laughs> I'm not going to watch. I'll get upset. No, it's um, spaces are limited, and uh, with a big wind coming, everybody's trying to find uh, shelter. He's actually probably picked a better place than me. <sighs> Jealous. Right, I won't watch. I'm going to go and uh, get myself some food. I'm starving. Fear always makes me hungry. No, it's all right. Should be okay. It's gone deadly quiet. Quiet before the storm. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. That was good timing. Not very nice out there now. So, uh, yeah, I made the right decision to move. I'm going to Port Fitzroy this morning. 
Uh, I haven't been there yet. I heard they have a place where you can buy burger. Uh, my friend Rick is coming down and whoa, I've just left up. And, and I'm trying to sail it down there just for fun, really. Uh, you know me, I don't like running the engine. So I've got the um, four sail up and I'm just sailing along merrily. We're going up there, so I'll have to drop the uh, sail soon anyway. About three minutes later, got the foresail down. Glad I did, because the wind is right on the nose. And that's where I want to be. You can see the wind on the water there. Spoke to some friends of mine who've been here for a couple of days. Uh, last night in the big wind, they said that people drag, uh, dragged their anchors, a couple of people. So I'm glad I uh, wasn't here last night, but it's, it's a bit um, breezy here today. I re-anchored. It's getting silly. I was getting gusts of 13, up, just up to 30 knots and holding. Nah. Literally two minutes after I made the last video, it started to rain. Big gust came up, not from over there, but completely a hundred and something more degrees from the opposite direction, pretty much. 180 degrees, isn't it? <laughs> I can't think straight tonight. But yeah, it's like come from the west. It's supposed to be coming from the east. But it's not going from the east because it's bending around the hill and hitting me now from the south. And now does one come from the north? So the wind completely stopped, which is nice. I thought I'd come into town, town as it is. But uh, then this decided not to work. Went to town and nothing's open. They have a burger bar here and um, a little yacht club thing and they're both closed and it's Friday night so uh, to hell with it I'll go back and have a drink by myself so having found out that Port Fitzroy wasn't a party town on a weekend I went back the next day it's slightly more successful than the first one bought some supplies at the shop also got these special council bags which is a way of getting rid of your garbage here it's kind of a good idea you have to buy uh, the bag itself Put your garbage in and you leave it leave it at a collection point it's kind of it's quite cool when you get used to it because there's no other way of getting rid of your garbage here but there again we are on an island they don't want garbage lying around the place so you can understand that so just doing that and then uh, back to the boat uh, fix the outboard engine which is just broken so it was always something i kind of didn't like this place at first just because I couldn't get anything done and I was talking to the girl in the uh, the little shop they have she's yeah oh, yeah you know that's what I like about it being in the middle of nowhere I'm kind of getting the idea of it now just getting off the boat makes a difference got to balance things you know always on the boat editing I put up a video this morning uh, in in my real time um, it was it's video day today, so up, up early put a video out um, So I've been busy already today And I got this done now, so I'm, I'm feeling much better. I was feeling a bit stressed Just because you can't get anything done But I have confirmed that the burger bar is actually closed now for the winter even though it's not the winter yet <laughs> So no burgers here my mate Rick's coming and uh, we we're gonna have burgers together I told him, it's no burgers mate, no burgers. Well that's the garbage, that's mine on the top there, the big one. It, um, yeah, it gets picked up every, every uh, few weeks or so. Found these old boogie boards. I used to have one before which I converted to a floating camera mount. Uh, it since got trashed, so I thought, well this one here looks pretty good, so I've taken it back and now it is in fact a floating camera mount. Right, it's time to get the shopping back on the boat, <laughs> including that bad boy. And then my friend Rick arrived. He'd been having his own adventures, but from now on we were going to pair up uh, the two boats and continue our cruising together. But the first thing we had to do was get ourselves through the notorious Man of War passage. You can actually see the screen this morning. We came in here. We're going to attempt to go out here. My mate Rick's coming with me, he's in his boat, uh, Masconada, um, they're ahead of me, it's a faster boat, he's just left before me, 
and he's put his fort, he's put his main start before he went through this gap. Uh, I'm not so brave. Uh, should see the open sea just down here. It's quite a small gap. Oh, 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 oh Baza. Yes. Wow. Uh, you can see uh, Manual Passage behind me. I'm gonna take a shortcut here. That's uh, something I don't normally do, but I reckon it's safe through some of these rocks to head down range there. And then I'm just looking over here. Uh, I you see so reckless cows. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's dangerous eating. Why do they eat the grass a bit further up where it's safer? <laughs> and then on my way out, I had a dolphin surface next to me as if to wish me good luck on my voyage. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Lots of sailing coming up in the next one, which will be out soon. Don't miss that. Please subscribe if you haven't done already. It really does help. Uh, press that notifications button. That way you'll never miss another episode of the old Sea Dog. Thank you to my incredible patrons for their amazing support. Details on my Patreon page. For real-time updates, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. See you in the next episode. came up on deck and it's like a ghost from my past Charlie those of you who remember the early videos remember my friend Charlie uh, the gull who used to live part-time on my boat in Portugal and that was one of his places he could go up on the front of the boat and he could see what was going on all around him Sweet. Hey Charlie, nice of you to come back and see me. Check if I'm okay. All's good mate, hope, hope you're well. <laughs>